What's up, Mananap? Good afternoon, uh, good day. So, welcome to this tutorial. So, for this time, I'm going to discuss about uh, SQL constraints. Now, in our previous, uh, in my previous discussions about uh, queries and all that, like DDL and DML, uh, we haven't included actually constraints in there. So, basically, when we talk about constraints, constraints are actually used to set um, rules, limitations, or like, uh, yeah, set of rules or limitations to a certain uh, column or a table level. So in a way that upon entering data or value to your tables or to the tables, it would, uh, you would not have to, to do that in a, in your programming language. So since our database offers that kind of uh, mechanisms or since our database, uh, our database actually in the MySQL uh, is able to, to set uh, certain rules or limitations uh, when, as we enter or as we keep on entering data or values to our records or to our tables rather. So we don't have to, you know, we don't have to do it in our program. So the, the, our table itself is able to handle such situations. So uh, there are actually, there are a few um, SQL constraints and one of which that I have been using are uh, primary key, foreign key, index, unique, not null, default, uh, default and check. Uh, those are actually some of the, I mean, uh, those are uh, SQL constraints that I have been using so far, and I'm quite familiar with. Okay, so this time we're going to be talking about first S uh, SQL constraint, which is not now. Okay, so this time, let's say for an instance, we are now here in our CLI, and I would need to create a database. So let's say create a database, uh, let's see. D B uh, my pet. So let's have D B my pet. All right. So now I'm going to create a table. So D table. All right. So let's say D B L pet. Okay. So this time I'm going to um, create um, fields, or I mean include fields like pet ID, pet name, pet gender like pet age, so on and so forth. Okay, so this time, let's say, um, I am going to just assign prime, uh, I mean, I'm going to assign uh, date types for each of this. So let's say we have 12, okay. And then for name, I'm going to assign it with like car, car, and then for gender, car, six, and then for pet age, I'm going to have here, like I need, uh, I need eight. Okay, so let's have here three. Now, if I'm going to include a, a constraint for this one, so the null constraint. Okay, so when we talk about null constraint, this is actually going to uh, guarantee that the column or specific column of our table is not going to accept. Uh, null values okay so let's say for an instance we have here let's say um, our id we don't allow i our id to have not null so by the way either or if you are going to type it in a lowercase it is uh it's the same with uppercase so let's say we have for our pet name we are going to include here not null all right and then for pet gender, let's say we don't include it there like not null. And then we have here, here, uh, not null also for our, our pet age. So only pet gender is uh, not set as not null. So this time we're going to process this one, but we don't uh, set a database yet. So I mean, we don't use a database yet. So this time we're going to create I use the, the my pet and my bad no. So I'm going to go back to my query and then I'm going to hit enter. So there, 
I have here the uh, the table created, and I'm going to describe this table. So right here, I have a data dictionary that says that my columns are not going to be uh, accepting null value except for the gender, which is yes. All right. So upon entering value to it, let's say insert into TBL pet values. So let's say I'm going to type natural, uh, like normal value to this one. So we have na uh, 101, and then we have here um, name, let's say Ken, and then we have here male, and then age is 12. So I can actually do that the same thing what we can do uh, before. So how about if I'm going to uh, put here like uh, null okay, or something like I uh, also with the 12 is null. So if I'm going to enter this one, uh, ID cannot be null. So as you can see, we have here a a limitation or a constraint which sets the uh, rules in which the our table or the our table now is it's no longer accepting null values okay so now what about we include records i mean we are going to type values for our pet id with a name ben have here the null for our gender here. Uh, let's say 12, and there you are, it's actually accepted. So, but upon viewing our records from the TPL pet, we are actually here, it's accepted actually null for our pet gender because we don't set our uh, pet gender to be uh, not null. So, meaning to say, the pet gender can accept that not values okay so another thing is that when what if sir what if you're going to insert a record let's say you're going to in, uh, insert a record like pet id and then pet name only okay so therefore you will be only going to insert name and uh, id so let's see, is this going to be accepted since our gender and, of course, the gender is going to be okay. I said, we set it now, it can be null. However, in the pet page, we already set this as not null. So what about this one? Is it going to be, pro uh, will this SQL statement we are writing now is going to be processed successfully? So let's see. So as you can see, you have here, um, PL pet age doesn't have default value. So it would mean that the not null is actually working. It's working right, no? It's uh, doing its purpose. Meaning to say, we cannot, uh, we cannot leave the, the certain column to accept no values okay so it has uh, not null means it has to guarantee that the each of the column of the of all the column the specific column that we set not null will accept will no is will not accept null value okay so let's say we have here age and then let's 14 so this will be processed of course so here that's actually uh, not null Okay, so not null is it guarantees our table to not accept null value. All right, so that would be all. And thank you guys for listening and watching this video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.